Hi everyone, I welcome you with a very big heart on BioWorld. In today's lesson, we will discuss and learn about one of the most powerful sense organ, the camera of our body, yes, the eye. So let's get started. Eye is the major sense organ that helps the brain to evoke sensation. The human eye is an organ that reacts to light and allows vision. Let's see the human eye structure at a glance. Location, protective structures, layers of eyeball, photoreceptors, various fluids, lens and optic nerve. First of all, let's see the location of human eye. Each eye is a hollow spherical and fluid filled organ. It is situated in bony cavity called orbit or eye socket in the skull. The protective structures enhances the well maintenance of the eye. Protective structures include eye socket, external eye muscles, eyebrows, eyelashes, eyelids, conjunctiva and tears. Eye socket also known as orbit. It is the depressions in the skull. The main function is to hold and protect the eye. External eye muscles. There are six eye muscles in each eye. That is three pairs. Functions fix the eyeball in the orbit. Helps in the movement of eyeball. Moving to the next protective structure, eyebrow. An area of thick short hairs above the eyes. Function includes prevent sweat, water and other debris from falling down into the eye socket. It helps in communication and facial expression. Eyelashes. The hairs that grow on the edge of the eyelids are called eyelashes. The main function is to prevent the entry of foreign particles to the eyes. Eyelids. They are acting as shutters protecting the eye from injury and excessive light. It helps in spreading the tear film over the cornea and conjunctiva. It also helps in drainage of tears. Conjunctiva. In the picture, you can see the conjunctiva lines the eyelids and surface of the eye. So, what is conjunctiva? It is a thin, semi transparent mucous membrane that covers the inner surface of the eyelid and white part of the eyeball. It secretes mucus which protects the anterior portion of the ball from being dry. Tears Tears are produced by tear gland. The major functions are to clean and lubricate the anterior part of the eyeball. Lysozyme, the enzyme present in tears, destroys germs that enter the eyes. Now let's see the various layers of eye. As I said, eye has a spherical shape which is made up of three layers. The three layers of the eye are sclera, choroid and retina. Sclera is the white outer layer which give firmness to the eye. It is made up of connective tissues. The middle layer is called choroid which contains large number of blood vessels. The innermost layer is retina which has photoreceptors. So let's see some more details about the layers and its modification. The sclera is modified to another structure called 
cornea. Similarly, choroid gets modified into iris, pupil, ciliary muscles and ligaments. Retina comprises two photoreceptors, rods and cones. One of the modification of sclera is cornea. It is the projected transparent anterior part of sclera. The function is to refract light rays to focus on retina. The layer which covers and protects the front part of the sclera is conjunctiva which is absent in the part of cornea. Moving to the middle layer, it is the choroid contains large number of blood vessels and the main function is to provide nutrients and oxygen to the tissues in the eyes. The choroid is modified into iris, pupil, ciliary muscles and ligaments. Iris, the part of choroid seen behind the cornea, contain a pigment called melanin. It gives color to the eye. It regulates the amount of light entering the eye. Pupil, the aperture seen at the center of iris, regulates the amount of light entering the eye and thereby improves visual acuity. Ciliary muscles are circular muscles seen around the lens. It helps to alter the curvature of lens. Suspensory ligaments also a modification of choroid layer. It is commonly known as Lockwood's ligament. It is a series of fibers that connect ciliary body of the eye with the lens. It helps to hold the lens in its position. Human eye lens. It is elastic, transparent, convex lens made of protein. It is connected to ciliary muscles by thread-like ligaments. The adjustment of lens is called power of accommodation. Functions helps to refract light to be focused on retina. Retina, the inner layer of eyeball, contains millions of tiny light-sensitive neurons called photoreceptors. Photoreceptors are of two types rods and cones. Now let's see the difference between rods and cones. Rods are rod in shape, cylindrical, which contain a pigment called rhodopsin. Whereas cone cells are conical in shape and contain another pigment called iodopsin or photopsin. In rods, only one type of cell is seen. Whereas in cones, based on primary colors, there are three types of cells. The rods usually helps in black and white vision and during the dim light. Whereas cones helps in color vision that is during bright light. The rods possess low acuity but high regenerative power. Whereas cones possess a higher acuity but low regenerative power. The disease related to road cells is night blindness, whereas the disease related to cone cells is color blindness. Here you can see the arrangement of roads and cones on the retina. Based on the number of roads and cones, there are two regions in the retina known as yellow spot and blind spot. Yellow spot is the part of retina where plenty of photoreceptors are present. It is the point of maximum visual clarity. Blind spot is the part of retina from where the optic nerve begins. Here there is no vision as photoreceptors are completely absent. Chambers and fluids in eyes. There are two chambers, aqueous and vitreous chamber. Aqueous chamber is a chamber between the lens and cornea. The vitreous chamber is seen between the lens and retina. Aqueous is the anterior small chamber while the vitreous is posterior 
as well as largest chamber. Aqueous chamber is filled with a watery fluid called aqueous humor, whereas vitreous chamber is filled with a jelly-like fluid called vitreous humor. So aqueous fluid or aqueous humor is moving fluid, whereas the vitreous humor is a non-moving fluid. The main function of aqueous humor is to provide nourishment, whereas the vitreous humor helps in maintaining the shape of eyeball. Optic nerve is located at the back of the eye. It transmits impulse from photoreceptors to visual centers in the brain. So students, what we have studied today, the protective structures of our eye, the location and the details of various structures seen inside the eye. So I hope you understood the concepts well. Here I am winding up. Thank you.